Hey, what's up everyone? It's our business here bringing you guys a light leveling guide that I've been using for a while in Rise of Iron, so I thought it'll help you guys out. Um, just to get started, it's the Resident Eye Strike uh, in the, uh, on Earth. If you go to the top right, it's in your directory. And uh, what you want to do is just start it up, whether you have friends or not. Uh, it's all good because it'll match you up with people. Preferred if you do have friends, so it'll go faster. So what you want to do is, uh, from get-go, uh, take your sparrow out, go to the left. Uh, avoid the entire middle section of the bridge and go about the spikes and you just want to just go you know trucking through the middle part avoiding the little green things destroy that node um, slowly kill enemies and then once you're done with that the gates will open in the middle and you want to go to the left uh, hopefully with everyone on your team and just start you know taking out enemies um, I wouldn't skip them because uh, they might come back and just bother you later so just be very uh, you know time you know concerned with it so uh, as soon as you see someone taking out the node, just start moving on to the one on the right side and uh, tearing down you know, those walls. Um, after you start taking down people and you see the node, you can just destroy it. Um, sometimes it spawns right here, sometimes it spawns on the right side, so just be wary of that. Uh, after destroying the node, uh, I like to just rush back to the middle and activate my super and just destroy anyone that comes in the middle. That's a good way to make some, uh, some orbs. And, uh, just, uh, it's just very time efficient. So you can keep on going until you get down to the uh, the second part of the strike, uh, which is to just destroy nodes in different areas. It's not always going to be in the same area, so just be wary of that. Um, the doors are going to open after destroying the first mode on the bottom left over there, or on the top right. Um, you'll get used to it the more you do the strike, and you'll be better at managing your time as well. Um, and then you can destroy second one right there and you just keep on following where your ghost tells you to go uh, I think this is the third and final node before you get to the boss and after destroying that uh, you're just gonna go down here uh, try not to fall and die like an idiot like me but um you just activate it and there's gonna be three waves of enemies when uh, facing uh, uh, the priest the first is going to be dregs second is going to be shanks third is going to be vandals what you want to do is make sure you take out these guys as soon as possible because you already have the priest to worry about and the ogre and then you don't want any more people to be, you know, putting you down. So, I took out the direct as soon as possible. Now is the shanks, I believe. Those guys are annoying since they're shooting from above, so I'd suggest, you know, hiding in a spot and just taking them out. They only take one or two shots, so uh, it's not that bad. And after doing that, just keep on, t you know, taking down his health. Watch out for the ogre. He starts getting faster at later points of the level so be cautious of that okay and then after that uh you're gonna come face vandals these guys kind of like try sniping you and uh have more health in the dregs so just take those guys out as soon as possible after that you're gonna just finish off the priest uh and then still watch out for the ogre and then you'll probably get one or two pieces of gear that are a uh, higher level than your current uh gear so it's like a, you know, kind of slow, not that slow, but like, kind of like a surefire way of, you know, getting to a higher level. Um, I usually infuse it, but if you want to save legendary marks, or just, so just equip them on and just uh, keep on doing it. You see, I did it in nine minutes, so you can probably cut it down to eight minutes if you're playing with friends and you guys have a, you know, good rhythm going. So uh, it's a surefire way of doing it. Um, I've been really slow with the Rise of Iron uh, DLC so leveling up slowly but this is definitely a good way of doing it if you are behind and have not been you know uh, with the times or uh, you know catching up so uh, that's all I have for this video um, if you guys liked it please leave a like comment your thoughts on the method subscribe if you guys want more videos and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time